good. <laughs> Just go for it, yeah. That's it, take it. <laughs> oh, it oh, backed out. <laughs> Boy, oh, that's scary. Got people attacking these pepper trees from all ends. Yeah, my neighbor's pepper trees. <laughs> Total pain in the butt. That's right. I'm going to try and persuade the people chopping down that pepper tree to chop a little more. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping I can get them to take that part right there at some point. All right, they did a little damage, but they got to come back and get that one right there because I'm paying for it. All right, I got the tree guy coming, the one I hired last year to do this part. Because, <laughs> you know, my saw just can't do all that. But uh, I think I'm going to have him take it all the way to there, if possible. I'm going to see if I can get him to remove any of this, too. Yeah, here's what I had chopped off <laughs> a couple years ago from there. Because it was coming way over the tool shed. Just waiting on the tree guy. Yeah, Eddie Flores, Flores Tree Trimming Service. He he did a really great job uh, about a year and a half ago when I had him um, get as much of my neighbor's trees as he could because you know I'm five foot four, and even though I got that dual link, I, I just I can only do so much. <laughs> and uh, I need the power tools. I need that machine that comes up higher, you know, and I just don't have all that. And so. It's worth it to me to, to pay him to, to come do what I can't do, you know? But I, I just don't understand why neither neighbor, I mean, I understand why this one, because, <laughs> but, you know, I, we've, I've replaced the fence on both sides. And uh, they have 18 trees between the two of them. And unfortunately, neither one of them care to do yard work, apparently. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I can't have all that trees coming over the side of the fence, especially after rebuilding and putting up that fence, you know, it just makes no sense. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have the, the guy today do as much as possible, like scale it back 10 years, you know. <laughs> yeah, so far I've managed to take it back and keep it on that side, but, but yeah, after building this fence and <laughs> everything else, I don't want none of this hanging over here. I want to keep it clear and clean. So I do like trim it, cut it, do whatever I can. It hangs over this side. That dual link with the 50 foot pole is good, but that's pretty thick. <laughs> I definitely need a power tool. Yeah, originally that one right there was all hanging over this, over this, over that. Now it's laying there. <laughs> I'm using it as decor. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to take this trunk right here and just take it back as far as he can so I don't have all this hanging over. And if I can talk him into taking some of this, that would be great. Yeah, I want him to take some of this. I'm thinking if I can get him to get that branch, that would get all of this. <laughs> <laughs> this neighbor is not doing any type of yard work. <laughs> and as you can see, yeah, that dual link helps me trim all their palm trees, but <laughs> that's the tree I really wish I could get rid of. It's going down. I'm yelling, Timber! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 
That's it, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, get rid of that. One. Woo! So much better. Perfect, perfect. You got it, you're good. I love it. <laughs> Whee! Okay, still gotta get that guy. Say goodbye to that bread. That's what I call money well spent. <laughs> yeah. Yes, money well spent. <laughs> yes, Flores Tree Demolition 805-760-8601. I highly recommend them.